Hello everybody and welcome to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, we're going to be playing through this one, uh, same as Modern Warfare Remastered. Uh, just get right into things. I will say, just real quick, I'm going to be, as before, I'm going to be skipping the training mission, which is in this case is SSDD. Um, just because the training missions, they, they don't add anything to the experience, it's just the training mission. Um, the most interesting one is in uh, Modern Warfare slash Modern Warfare Remastered with the boat one and I didn't even do that one. Um, I'm also going to be skipping No Russian. Um, I don't have any problems playing it. It's just... In terms of the plot, it's just... No, I mean, yeah, there, it's valid and um, is a definitive part of the plot. But at the same time... Even for a series about just shooting tons and tons of people over the course of several hours... It's kind of excessive, and at the same time, it's actually not really a fun mission because the armor makes you slow and you've just got a giant machine gun the whole time, which takes three hours to reload. So um, I don't find the mission all that much fun anyways, besides it's really just murdering civilians and then a few cops and then mission over. So um, today, it's just, it's be, uh, just to kind of compensate for the fact that I've had a few long episodes, although, to be fair with hell... <laughs> For, I, by the way, this is the same night I finished Modern Warfare Remastered. It's been about 15 minutes since I finished the last game. Um, my sense of time has gone completely to shit, so I think actually the last three episodes were all on time uh, for about 30 minutes. But um, just to kind of get Modern Warfare 2 rolling, I'm only going to play team player in Act 1. I'm trying not to... St I'm not trying not to bridge acts because it doesn't really work out too well, so... I'm going to play team player. If that takes less than 15 minutes to play, um, I will do cliffhanger as well just to give a, make the episode long enough. Um, and then takedown will be a separate admission. If team player for some reason takes longer, um, I'm going to leave. I'm just going to play team player and then leave cliffhanger and takedown as their own episodes. Um, and I'm probably going to try and keep that sort of pacing up with, you know, a shorter episode and then a longer episode back and forth depending on how things work out um, but again if missions are story relevant I will try to play them together to kind of keep the story moving um, so without further ado we shall begin uh, team player military force in the history of man. Every fight is our fight. Because what happens over here matters over there. We don't get to sit one out. Learning to use the tools of modern warfare is the difference between the prospering of your people and utter destruction. We can't give you freedom, but we can give you the know-how to acquire it. And that, my friends, is worth more than a whole army base of steel. Sure, it matters who's got the biggest stick, but it matters a hell of a lot more who's swinging it. This is a time for heroes, a time for legends. History is written by the victors. Let's get to work. Shepard as a character just doesn't make any sense to me. Flight of two, F-16s online, stand by for relay. 
Hunter 2-1, this is Devil 1-1. Flight of 2F-15s, time on station 1-5 miles, holding at 3 Sierra Northwest. Holding area knife, carrying two J-Dams and two harms, over. Standing by. Devil 1-1, target of the white 12-story apartment building in grid 252171. I need you to level that building. I'll copy over. On the bridge, take a hard. Multiple targets, take them out! Solid copy, Hunter 2-1. Rolling in now. Target acquired. Ah. Hunter. I love that they gave the vehicles names. Was always, I've heard that was a very frustrating part of serving in Iraq. Again, I'm just not being able to engage targets. You knew were targets, but weren't holding weapons, and that was against the rules of engagement. Which again, I fully support the rules of engagement. I did, you can't just go around murdering whoever you feel like for any and every reason. But at the same time. I can understand that frustration absolutely. I can't see shit between the muzzle flash and the friggin' blood on the screen. No, crunch. I think the name is crunch was for pressure. Ow. Oh, no. Over. 2-1, we are combat ineffective here! We're taking heavy fire in the school! Can 
Nope, Brett don't have lean. Ooh. It's technically the replacement for the, uh... My G... My favorite G3. I will say, though, I do prefer the, uh, the single shot. felt pretty short, so I think I'm going to run through uh, and just play uh, the next mission. It's a bit longer, but... So how do I look? Like one of the bad guys. Perfect for your undercover assignment. So Makarov is the prize. Makarov's no prize. He's a whore. A mad dog killer for the highest bidder. Just remember your new identity. It'll keep you alive. Welcome to the 141. Best hand-picked group of warriors on the planet. It's an honor, sir. When do I meet the rest of the team? They're on a mission recovering a downed ACS module behind enemy lines. Their feet wet? Imagine they're just about freezing right now. Wonders for my fear of heights. Just gonna, just gonna stare at the ice. Wall. Stay here and spot me. Wait for my go. Good luck, man. I'll see you on the far side. 
Oh, that is just so much nope. Check your heartbeat sensor. You should be able to see me on the scope. That blue dot is me. Any unrecognized contacts will show up as white dots. Roach, these muppets have no idea we're here. Let's take this nice and slow. You take the one on the left. Mark three. One. Two, three. Nicely done. You went before three. Be careful about picking up enemy weapons, Roach. Right. Any unsuppressed firearms will attract a lot of attention. I'm not picking it up for now. I'm picking it up because I know this mission goes to shit. Because, come on, when does that stealth mission in Call of Duty ever not go to shit? The Russians in the Modern Warfare games always have such weird weapons. Like, why do the Russians ha like this is the Russians in Russia? Now they have a FAMAS, which, as far as I know, is only used by the French. Can we do this faster? Let's split up. I'll use a thermal scope and provide Overwatch from this ridge. Use the cover of the storm to enter the base. You'll be a ghost in this blizzard, so the guards won't see you until you're very close. Keep an eye on your heartbeat sensor. Good luck. No bad. Target on your right. Tango on your six. Never mind. Target on your right. I'll take this one. Never mind. Alright, so, you know, let's gone a little worse than uh, probably should have, but luckily, apparently the wind is so loud that they can't hear bullets 20 feet away. There's a truck coming. Stay out of sight. This is the worst this mission's ever gone for me in terms of stealth. The fueling stations near the northeast corner of the runway. I am probably playing it a little too fast. Hold up. I'm seeing some activity on the runway. Looks like 20 plus foot mobiles headed your way. Signatures near the tower. Could be BMPs. 
I'd avoid that area. I saw him with an AK and just assumed he was bad. It's been way too long since I played this mission. Just, just do that in the noisiest way possible, you know, with the struggle and the smashing into things and all that fun stuff. Go upstairs and look for the ACS module. Shit, I forgot the Plus is the first fire rifle in this game. Stay close and hug the wall. We use the mix for cover and cross the tarmac to the southeast. That guy just went flying. Ow. Triple kill. I think there was six, because there's usually two guys in each one. There's like a couple rounds on that. Was that soap? Kill 
never been this bad at this mission before in my life. Although I think the last time I really seriously... Alright, the sound's all fucked up now for some reason. Luckily we're right at the end. Sorry about the fucked up sound, we'll just have to deal with it I guess. We. If they're running on fumes, though, they wouldn't be able to leave. Oh, and I forgot to pause. <laughs> it's been a theme for the night. The rest of Task Force 141 brought in the ACS, Alan. Two men took down an entire base. I ask much more from you now. Yesterday, you were a soldier on the front lines, but today, front lines are history. Uniforms are relics. The war rages everywhere, and there will be casualties. This man, Makarov, is fighting his own war, and he has no rules, no boundaries. He doesn't flinch at torture, human trafficking, or genocide. He's not loyal to a flag or a country or any set of ideals. He trades blood for money. He's your new best friend. You don't want to know what it's cost already to put you next to him. It will cost you a piece of yourself. It will cost nothing compared to everything you'll save. So, as I did say, I was going to skip this mission, but hearing Shepard, you know, try and justify the, uh, you know, what he's having you do in this mission, which is, by the way, murder an airport entirely full of civilians, um... It's kind of, kind of, I don't know. I think my biggest problem is that Shepard is kind of portrayed as being a bit of a nut right from the get-go. Like, there's, I don't think there's any point in the game where he's never, where he's ever not just kind of portrayed as this slightly out there guy. It could be just my perception, my, you know, knowledge of the rest of the game, you know, kind of bleeding through because he's not a good guy. But at the same time, I don't know, it's kind of obvious. He has you go in and murder a bunch of civilians for the sake of security? I don't know. Anyways, um, thanks for joining me on this one. Again, next time will be a much shorter episode, just doing that one um, favela mission. And um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.